Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Why, hello there once again. So we're going to do an update on the hurricane situation and a few other things. As always, want to give thanks to our patrons and all you guys for being part of this family. We appreciate you and we pray that you're all very safe and sound in these times. Many prayers going out to all of you. Yes, I uh, was just checking in with a family member uh, that's from Sarasota and, you know, timing, timing, timing. She's actually in Germany uh, with family. So um, that was a little bit of a blessing uh, as she was going to return. But again, her husband and uh, the pets, they're, they're, they're vacating. They're, they're going to Orlando because another thing is uh, that when you go north to get out, it, it, it's really a mess because of the last hurricane and also there's so many people that need places to stay and are utilizing hotels and the like in the northern section you know at the big bend and north that this complicates things for all those that are <laughs> looking to evacuate now um, really in the Tampa area all the way from you know Naples all the way up to the big bend you know, it, it's a huge mess, and I just want to point out, um, people who have electric cars, this is going to be a problem, and they're really, really pushing the electric car thing, and how, how are you going to get recharged if you're on a 20-hour drive trying to get out of town, you're only able to go 10 miles, How how is this going to work? This makes absolutely no sense, so... I think this is another good reason to really push back on these cell cities that they're trying to create. At least if you have a, a regular car, a gasoline car, you know, you, you have the, you can bring extra gas and gas stations are, you know, there's more, there's going to be more. Your chances of getting out in a gas car are much greater, I think, than an electric car. I don't trust those things. And with everything going on that they're talking about with lithium, I think they're going to be pushing that after this. You know, I saw a long time ago that they were going to create these storms so they could push their agenda and push their technology forward. And I'm just not okay with this. I'm just not okay with any of this. So we are doing overdrive in prayer and we do hope you guys are joining us. We are going to be doing a live, it looks like Wednesday for sure, to try to help break up this hurricane before it does any damage. Yes, and, um, you know, I just saw notifications on something else we're going to touch on after this one. Hackers breach American Waterworks system, target 14 plus million customers. This is the largest regulated water supplier in the U.S. This is impacting 14 million people in states like New Jersey, California, Pennsylvania, Illinois, as well as 18 military bases. The Camden Base Utility has shut down specific systems to prevent further risk pledging. There will be no late fees for affected customers. Law enforcement has been notified as the company works around the clock to assess the breach's impact. This cyber attack follows increased U.S. concerns over foreign interference in critical infrastructure. We are in uh, really unusual times. Uh, this is, this is, there's just so many things. There's a confluence. Before I go to that, I just want to touch on what just popped up on the other computer there. As, um, you may know, uh, Iran, Israel, there's been a lot of things going on. And here you see, let's see, where was I looking for it there? There you go. Uh, explosions. There are some reports coming in that Israel perhaps is striking Iran as we speak. Explosions in Isfahan and also in Tehran, the capital. Um, yet some are saying they don't think it's Israel. They're not sure what's going on, but there's just multiple sources saying they're hearing explosions. Uh, so, you know, again, this is something else to watch as it's more than likely going to keep escalating. Iran's crown prince, Pavlavi Pahlavi Reza, releases an important speech. Now, if you guys are not as old as me, uh, <laughs> you might not even remember the Shah of Iran. Uh, who was from the same family. So, you know, again, uh, there's so much political intrigue going on. 
He says he's ready to lead the transition to democracy in Iran, says the mullahs have created chaos in Syria, Iraq, Yemen, and in Lebanon while trying to overthrow the rulers in Saudi and Jordan. It's just basically a hang on tight situation with everything that's going on. And then storm surge, the storm surge potential is like off the charts. What we're looking at with this uh, particular storm, Milton, the wind speed is insane. Uh, as you see, the peak storm storm surge forecast here. This is causing this storm is causing a lot of people that that don't want to go down that CONS piracy theory route. And yeah, actually don't want to simply acknowledge something that's been going on for a very, very long time. And some of them are, are literally like that kid sticking their fingers in the ear saying, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Even though you can show them documentation after documentation and even statements from governments it's talking about controlling the weather by guess when? Next year. Both the U.S. and China have said this. So here you go. It, you know, this is always changing. Uh, 180 miles an hour was the last I saw a moment a few moments ago before we went online. Tied as the fourth strongest hurricane in Atlantic history, it looks like that's going to uh, perhaps be surpassed. The the pressure keeps increasing, and this is the current location. As you can see, the the Yucatan Peninsula right here, Florida, in the bullseye. Again, if we looked in normal times and you saw a hurricane like this here. You would usually say, oh, watch out Mexico, watch out Texas, maybe even watch out Louisiana, not, not watch out Florida. It's going against the grain. And here we can see um, when I was looking, I was seeing in the 130s is what they're forecasting for landfall right around Tampa Bay, Sarasota, Bradenton. Um, you know, again, from Spring Hill down to Englewood, I would say, you know, you guys are pretty much in the bullseye area. A lot of people are evacuating. This would not be one to hesitate on. By the way, the KP has been elevated as we see a G2 uh, storm at the moment. It's been a little bit over six for a high. There was another uh, X-Class 2.1 that occurred. This one was on the far western limb, should not really impact us directly. The uh, <laughs> This is Disclosure News Italia. The Schumann, very high. As you see, our consciousness is absolutely changing, and humanity is awakening. This is so obviously not all natural. Mm -mm. No, not at all. I, I, I've been having... Uh folks te text me and ask about the energy because it is insane. It, I mean, there is a lot of natural energy waves that are coming in that are helping us rise up and above, forcing us to face things, forcing us to pick things apart, bringing things up. And, you know, the main key with the natural energies is look at yourself. Be very careful not to point any fingers and blame anyone else because when you do that, you'll notice that you have at least three fingers pointing back at you. So we have to look at our own behavior and this is going to help us get through it and be willing to help ourselves and be good to ourselves and give ourselves that grace if needed or give ourselves that stern talk if needed, whatever it takes, but work on you. Now, we also have the other aspect of the uh, the uh, the adversary energies, the darker energies, which no, they are not good. How do we protect ourselves from that? Well, you know, it's it's really going within seriously shutting off your phones shutting off your routers getting yourself grounded can help protect you from those uh man-made frequencies and and it can also help ease the rising in frequency of the natural energies that we have going on so i just wanted to tell people you know because everyone and you guys you're not alone everyone's having very similar issues when it comes to having anxiety, facing things, things going on in their lives, whether it be like real big deals or or just things that feel very inconvenient and very, very painful. Um, you know, be willing to look at yourself, uh, be willing to take that constructive criticism, 
because it's okay. It's okay, you know, if somebody is telling you there's something wrong as long as they are doing it, you know, constructively. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and it's okay for you to talk to other people constructively. You might be being called to do that as well. So a lot of confusion, uh, a lot of anxiety. Mostly our focus, though, is on this hurricane and trying to break it up. And if our heart chakras are open wider, this gives us a better chance at breaking up this hurricane and helping to protect others. Yeah, so, you know, yet again, you have coincidences as you have uh, the <laughs> the Tampa Bay um lightning owner with bill gates well you know they might be uh, interested in investing billions to redo downtown uh tampa and there's talk of tampa being again into that 15 minute city thing by the way you know these four storms went reverse of the normal way of things an unnamed storm in 1852 made landfall in florida as a category one uh, starting out, as you can see um, over here, basically not even under Louisiana. So this is a much longer track. Uh, unnamed storm in 1872, landfall is a tropical storm. Another one, 1892, landfall is a tropical storm. And tropical storm Henry made landfall as a tropical depression. So, you know, having something hit 200 mile an hour winds, and reach cat 5 status in like 24 hours with perhaps the lowest it's going to be really close for it might set the record as far as the lowest millibars it's going to be close it's at 905 last time i heard katrina you know you see um 902 when it made landfall was at 920 Hurricane Camille was a real powerful one, 900 millibars. You know, Wilma, 82. We'll see. Um, I wouldn't bet against it. And now I was trying to figure out what are they talking about with this? Looks like Hurricane Milton's going to cross Disney World at 10.09. Hmm. Mickey clock turns 10.09 with 23 ticks. Hurricane Milton will cross Disney on 10.09. The only thing that popped up here was 1009 code. According to uh, the search results, it means repeat last message code used by police and emergency services to request a repeat of the previous transmission. Well, we're getting repeat uh, hurricanes. Right. You know, is this some sort of code? I, I don't know. Any of you guys out there have any other ideas? Meanwhile, you know, again, we we're talking about the devils and demons that play with harp. Yeah, you know, it's just, you have all sorts of personnel that have been under oath, you know, appropriation committees, subcommittees. We understand what's going on. And yet you got people that are out there, people with big YouTube channels and people with big followings that categorically deny it's anything but natural. And somebody told me that um, weather forecasters have to take a non-disclosure uh, agreement. They have to sign something, basically agreeing that if it's a if it's anything that shows any sort of technology of a military um, nature that could expose the country, they can't expose it. They can't show it. They can't talk about it. Ah, okay, I get it. This is why. You know, they look real uncomfortable, y'all, when they talk about certain things. Yes, yes, they are very uncomfortable because they know, they know probably what's going on more than anyone. So um, it's definitely not a secret. This is the Great Awakening. This is something that it, it's really, really not fair what they are able to do. But I tell you what, it's going to really pull people together. And, and we're hoping that, you know, we can pull you guys together to be doing mantras or meditation to work on breaking that storm up and and again we're going to be doing it uh we've been working on it from the hours of five to seven central our time because we're trying to consolidate the energy and it looks like wednesday even maybe even tuesday we're going to go live and do some meditation live as well and maybe some tuning forks and things to really help uh expand the energy 
Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, China has declared Soros a global terrorist. And he's literally the son of Satan, the most evil person in the world. Well, there's there's other ones that are up there um, that we could put in that category. I think, uh, hey, you know, anybody want to share names, you're, you're welcome to if you feel like it's going to make you feel better. U.S. government documents reveal hurricanes are the result of weather modification. Yeah, we shall propose further cooperative effort between all the nations in, in weather control. Uh, U.S. President John F. Kennedy, United Nations General Assembly, 1961, and Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson, he who controls the weather controls the world back in 1962. You know, all you got to do is look. There's all sorts of patents, declassified documents, and, you know, it's even been stated in the regular mainstream news now. And there was even um, one person that was interviewed and she was like saying, this is regular mainstream news. Well, you know, we've been controlling the weather for like 80 years now. It's right there. We've shown the patents going back to 1891. And yet people will say, no, you know, we can't control the weather. Well, unless you're saying that and you're winking and you're nodding, you're full of it. You're so full of it. It's just all out here. China massively expanding its weather modification program. Be able to have half of the country covered in artificial rain and snow in a couple months. So they, they have it now. It's been in place for a long time. As we've been saying, it, the, the real reality m many people just cannot handle is it, the entire time Homo sapiens has been here pretty much. After a federal judge ruled that water fluoridation poses an unreasonable risk to children's intelligence, more U.S. cities are stopping the water fluoridation program. This is the beginning of the end. This is good. This is really good. There's a lot of things going on that's really good. And if we weren't looking at all this, we would be saying, oh, how about that Diddy Diddy guy? And how about all the people that he knows? And how about all those people? that are, are leaving the world, the, the earth so suddenly because of bad decisions four years ago. We would be talking about that. We'd be talking about all the corruption going on. You know, how people in Zelensky's cabinet are, are buying, you know, $5 million apartments and condos and Zelensky's wife is shopping for furs and jewelry. And, you know, the corruption is everywhere. And if we weren't really dodging bullets trying to save our own lives we would be talking more about that and that's why we're dodging bullets it, it is it, it's it's not a popular thing that we do when we go against the entire system that keeps the whole system up and running they have various ways of getting to people you know but usually they they use fear tactics and and they have done that and we are uh, very grateful for those who have supported us and have been supporting us in a really big way. I can see the wikis coming up on this video now. We're going to get a lot and it, the the system hates when we bring this thing to light and they really don't like it when we tell you guys, look, you're not crazy. These things really are happening. Here's the evidence. Now let's work with each other and let's deal with this together because so many of you are alone. Your family members don't believe you or they just they don't have time to believe you or they don't want to look. So here we are. Here we are doing it with you and you guys are helping in turn to keep us here doing it. But when we show this stuff, Oh my gosh, it, you know, it can get yucky, but we, we do what we can, you know, we get other kinds of protection and we're very, very grateful for that. Yes, Gandalf the Grey turned into Gandalf the White and now we have Gandalf the Golden and Golden Light is one of the keys that the guides were saying uh, for us to mention to you guys, visualize yourself surrounded in golden light to seal in the, only the highest frequencies you can clear negative energies by a violet light and many people know of the term the violet flame so envision yourself surrounded in violet violet energy first and then cover yourself in gold and don't think that because you're just visualizing something it doesn't have an effect it absolutely does this whole reality is a holographic matrix that's all about attuning to your consciousness and you have source within you. So the sky's the limit. 
yes, lean on each other, be good to each other, give yourself grace, try to get some rest. If your guides and angels are telling you to get out of the way, please get out of the way. Do not hesitate. Don't try to be overly strong. This is nothing to mess with. And we will be talking to you guys again tomorrow. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.